Mi madre. Mi beautiful madre. She cooks. She cleans. Happy Mother's Day. And I was just making this video just to tell you that I love you. And yeah, I was thinking favorite memories. And honestly, it's staying up at the kitchen, especially in quarantine, staying up at the kitchen, just talking, usually over breakfast or uh, late at night and just our talks. And actually one that really stands out to me is when it was you, me, and Violet, dad was gone for the day, and you, me, and Violet, we, I laid a blanket out in the backyard you sat in the Anirondack chair, and then I laid in the sun, and it was just us girls, and uh, just... I love my ladies, I sure love you, and the example of what it means to be a woman of God in terms, especially in terms of, I've said this before, but you don't gossip, which I think is very rare for women, it's very, um rare to me that I hear you speak poorly about someone, something that you wouldn't tell them directly, if that makes sense. Like, you are good with words and discernment. You have good discernment, and also, um, I was gonna say, shoot, there was a big one. Darn it. I love how crafty you are, and honestly, that's something I want to learn before you die. Don't die ever, please. I want to learn how to sew from you, but mostly just like the time that it took to make those things and the effort that went into it, and just th that you get joy from doing things for other people. Like you have. Um, you're very thoughtful about seeing something. Oh, they would like this, and I think I get that from you. I don't. I don't think everyone has that. Um, and then just also, I'm just proud of what you've been through. <laughs> Not proud that you, of what you've been through, but that you've gone through it, through it. And someone in my Bible study had said, uh, I was quoting. Psalm 23, where the Lord is my shepherd, um, as I walk, you know, the whole thing, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Um, your rod and your staff, they come for me. And she was saying, you walk through the valley, you don't stay there. And I was just thinking um, that you've had some, some very dark valleys more than anyone ever should. And that you've walked through time and time again. And, oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> and uh, just how blessed I am to have you as my mama. And that you're always taking, you always take an interest in my life and, and everyone's. And I just love talking to you. And um, I just like our girl time. And you say it like it is. Oh, that's another thing. And I said this before. You, um... You don't jump to conclusions. You're, you're good about being, well... About stepping back and saying, hey. And I feel like something we've both grown through is... I think we both can be stubborn. <laughs> and I think I really... I'm proud of our relationship that it's grown to be able to work through issues that we've got and and come to a place of meeting in the middle of, okay, well, you know this about me, you know this about me, and agreeing to disagree and then also agreeing to be open to changing our minds, if that makes sense. Anyway, I love you, Mama. Happy Mother's Day. I can't wait to see you in the flesh. And I love you. This video is so long that I think I'm going to have to post it to YouTube to be able to send it. So then it'll be archived on the internet forever. Okay, I love you.